Welcome back to Nerd Chic. Before I do this, don't forget to subscribe to us and give us some love on this if you've had fun with our videos. We love having you guys on to do weird nerdy stuff. Today we're going to break into a Blu-ray player. So this thing's been sitting on the shelf a while and I killed it by accident and I can't get it to work. So I'm going to open it up and look under the hood. You guys can look with me if you want to. We have tons of reveal videos like this we do. So I'm just taking out the screw right here. I cannot promise that I'll be kind to this thing. I may break it open in just a minute just to get it. I have to be tough on some devices to get them open. You know, you should really be gentle if you intend to ever use something like this again. It looks like it's held by that wire. So it also looks like it's got some pins in the bottom right there and there. Let's see what we can do. grab a couple more tools so <clears throat> let's see here with a little bit of help let's make these things open yep okay and it looks like the motherboard of this thing is screwed down the other way so if I can get this done I might just break this. I'm not planning on keeping this, so if you are planning on keeping yours, don't do it this way. <laughs> there it is. Got it. Then it's enough time with computer parts that you get used to it. Okay, here we go. I got it open that way. Feels like it slides out something like this. It does. Good. Yeah. So there's the top of it. My Samsung Blu-ray player. There's the front, the open slot, the SD card, and the power buttons, all that here. Here's what's under the hood. Look at that. Interesting. Got all this stuff. I just bent this a little bit. It's the buttons. It's like that. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So interesting. So here would be, oh, look, there's the bay. So if you do it, there's the bay, and it opens like that. All right, I'm going to do something a little bit sketchy, a little bit dangerous. Don't do this at home. I'm going to plug it in. Let's see if we can make it run without the top on it. I bet we can. All right. Oh, I hear it running. Now, the problem is this thing won't play. <clears throat> it was powering up, but it wouldn't play. And I can see what it's doing there. It's stuck. There's the power button. And it can't do it, see? This thing won't disconnect. It's it's still up right there. So it's trying to eject. So that's what the problem is with it. It just keeps doing that eject function. Let's see if I can make it eject. Here's the eject button. Nope. There it comes. <laughs> this is fun. I've never done this before. Okay. So, if I wanted to fix it, I'd have to get that joker right there to go down and disengage. But I'm not trying to fix it. I'm just breaking this thing because it's interesting. And see what that does? That actually tells the um, disc, it puts the pressure against the disc and locks it in and spins it. But it's locked up. It's broken. So, that's the problem with it. That's where it died. Anyway, I'll power it down. Let's see what else we can break open here. I'm going to unplug it again so I don't get shocked. Just interesting. I hope you guys enjoy this kind of stuff. I just, I like tinkering at different times and seeing stuff and seeing what's inside. Oh, let me get that off. Let's see what else we got here. Let's see what this is. Pretty much like a computer. I mean, this is like when I break open computers. I have to show you guys some of that stuff later. I've changed out a lot of components and parts and RAM and drives over the years and servers and computers and they function much the same. Be careful when you're taking stuff out like this if you plan on reusing it. Make sure to honor the cables and how they're put in or attached. This one is attached that way. Look at that, it just slips right in there. So that's off. What is this? That looks like a little... Cool. It's the model information for the actual deal. 
So now I'm in here. If I were trying to fix it, I could have used that to fix it. Here's, let's see if we can take out this motherboard just for fun. This reminds me so much of just what we do with computers. There goes the power. Cut that out now. And actually, the way I've done this, I can actually put all this stuff back together. Look at that. That pulls out with those blue things. So we could put this all back together if we want to because I'm not hurting it or harming it. But I'm not going to. There's another screw right there. Let's see what happens. Let me take that free. This is fun. My kids love seeing me do stuff like this. I hope you all enjoy it. Oh, goodness. Ooh, look. And you know what? That's attached. Look how that's attached. That's interesting. Like that. Cool. Again, if you're real gentle, you can always put it back together. Great learning experience for young people who are wanting to mess with components and computer stuff. Okay, let's see how this works. It looks like I see all the screws that I had noticed are undone. It looks like the rest of this is just in there with these clips. So... Is there a way to unclip them without killing my fingers? <laughs> Not so much. It looks like those things, they really, they slide in a certain way. So I'm going to see if, I, you see how this does right here? It looks like it clips in this way and clips in this way. And these do as well. We should be able to shift this maybe this way. Let's make sure there's no, nothing holding it. Okay, then I'm going to shift it. There we go. It might be able to pop out. Hold on, I'm not doing it the right way. Should go that way, which looks like the wrong way. But it's the right way. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this works. There's something holding it in place. Nope. Hmm. I wonder what's got it latched in there. So tough. Now we're breaking it where we can't put it back together, but that's okay. I'm not planning on putting it back together. Those are the, those are clips. Oh, no, that's not hurting it. Wow, do you see what this is, guys? I didn't know this, but those are clipped in here. This thing was literally bent into place anyway. Look at this. Those clips hook like that, but this deal, see how it's got those partitions in it? It was, it was, it was clipped like that, and then they bent it up, and it clipped. I did not know that. You learn new things every day, huh? So now we're back to this. How do I get, oh, I see, I see. I see why it won't move. Right there is why it won't move. It's got that clip right there and that clip right there. Let's see what happens if we take those free. Yep, there it is. It's gonna come out now. They bent those in place, guys. Isn't that interesting? I didn't know that either. This is fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do enjoy it, give us a thumbs up. If you don't enjoy it, don't give us a thumbs down. <laughs> there it is. Look, we got it all apart. And we could actually put this all back together if we wanted to. Boom. If I wanted to, if there was a reason to do it, I could replace this part right here. And, and you know, keep going. But, hey, you know what? I see more screws. Let's get a smaller screwdriver. Let's see if we can't get it even more taken apart. Here's my little baby computer screwdrivers. It's always good to have the mini screwdrivers. If you don't have mini screwdrivers for working on computers, you know what works great? This is a great tip. Go get glasses repair kits and you can do it. <clears throat> but a lot of screwdriver sets, you can get the smaller ones in it now, even from Lowe's or Home Depot or something. Interesting. Don't forget, we have an askthenerd.net website where we put all of our stuff together and get it to you. We're working on an app, and so we're working on getting that available. These are all those wires. Isn't it crazy? Those wires are like ribbons. Look at that. Those are ribbons. Interesting. So interesting. All right, I believe that's as a part as, part, a part as I can get it. Oh, there it comes. Woo! So it comes across part like that. 
Interesting. Oh, you know what, guys? I actually could fix this. Holy mackerel. I did not know. Well, should I fix it? Look at that. I did. So this now is down the way it's supposed to be. It'll work again. It was just stuck up in here, so I could put all this back together. I'm not going to do that on this video because I'm not interested in fixing it. I was just interested in taking it apart. I've already replaced it. Um, nowadays, you can get Blu-ray players pretty cheap, and or you can use an old PlayStation or something, PlayStation 3. But anyway, I could have fixed it like that. That's it right there, just getting that thing back down where it wasn't up against this. And then that's it. Just need that screw back. That screw had come out. Once that's screwed back, the thing will eject. How about that? An easy repair. All right, well, that's it for today. Give us a thumbs up and a like if you enjoyed us ripping apart a Samsung Blu-ray player. And um, if you've got any other requests of us doing fun stuff, let us know, and we will do it live here on Nerd Cheek. Thanks again. Give us a, give us a subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. We love new subscribers. Have a great day.